so I've been really focusing a lot of my study time, watching videos, reading Genesis, listening to Genesis. I've just really, it's reaffirming to me the, just the beauty of creation. You know, it's science has always been my favorite kind of scholastic topic, always been good at it. Very little that I would question, um, but I never did feel quite right about evolution. It just didn't sit right with me because the more I learned, uh, the more I understood that the complexity of creation, everything that we observe really nullifies Darwin's theory of evolution, that all things evolve from simple to complex. You know, and, and scientists are aware of this. I just I just think they're they're in so deep now that they're probably fear losing their jobs. But uh, I know a lot of scientists probably struggle because um, the you know we the complexity is just irreducible. It, it there's nothing in nature that shows we it goes from simple to complex. And in, in fact, we can observe most things go from organized to decay and you know entropy and there's just so much so i'll put links in the description to a couple of websites or youtube video um, channels that i think really emphasize this in a very good way they're not cocky about it they're just this is what science has told people for in from ages uh, a lot of the early scientific fathers either expected to find God in creation, and some of them did, and a lot of them concluded rightly that there is some divinity, some masterful creator, not a coincidence. There's nothing that speaks of coincidence. So it's one of those decisions that um, you have to make in, in life. And I'll tell you the deeper you study science, you, you will find that you will be more and more in awe and you can't explain it by saying it ex came from nothing, but then just shrug off that an, a creator created it from nothing with a uh, design in mind. And when you read Genesis one through three, basically you, you see the overview of that work in, in the book of Daniel, there's a verse that says, you know, time will go on and, and knowledge will increase. And it's in that context, it's it's about the end times, but it's in that same context. Um, we'll learn more about how the scriptures are authentic and they're reliable. They're historical narratives that are accurate. That would include creation. It, the very first verse in this book in the beginning god a plural masculine deity created from nothing everything that's the christian worldview in a nutshell and you know that's just the creation part but there is so much and i hope to explore just as many facets as i can kind of put into words and you know every day you go through the scriptures i find something new it's just inexhaustible so Stick with me and, um, you know, as we go through Genesis, we're going to find just amazing truths. Some of them will be very shocking and sad and alarming, but it shows that God does what he says and he says what he does. And we are accountable for what we know and should not feel like we can get away with murder, basically. And that's one of the first lessons we're going to learn. As we, as we go through just the early ancestry of Adam. So I want to leave you with that. And, you know, that's kind of what devotional time is in the Word. It's what you read and then how you interpret it. If you interpret it properly, it will make you think, oh, how can I apply this to my life? And to me, this has been one of the long things before I was even a decades before I became a Christian. I thought science was fascinating and I still do. I love science, love it. And it doesn't, there's no friction 
or opposition between science and the Christian faith because knowledge, science means knowledge in general of anything. Gaining knowledge is science. Um, we also have disciplines of career and education that you know go through scientific observation and experimentation and theory and you know we have great disciplines and they teach us all these things you kind of have to be as you learn more and more and it doesn't happen overnight but uh that, that's one of the conclusions of uh, spending time in the scriptures so have a blessed day and i will see you soon